What's going on here? Look like the geezer from Little Rascals. So my last video did numbers. And by numbers, I mean it got about 800 views. Usually I get about 500. So we pop it, man. And I gained like 30 to 40 subscribers. So if you subscribed recently, thanks for watching. If you subscribed ages ago, thanks for still being here. I asked for some more suggestions on old TV shows to watch and I got loads of them but there was one that stuck in my mind and you already know because of the title so I don't know why I'm acting like it's gonna be a surprise Snog Marry Avoid <sighs> and it was suggested one singular time and one singular time was enough for me I used to watch Snog Marry Avoid when I was younger it started in 2008 I was six years five years four years old and the premise of Snog Mary Avoid is people that dress insanely like so much makeup, that sort of like chavvy type thing. And they go on to be maked under. And beforehand, they ask like a hundred people Snog Mary Avoid and they all do avoid because, oh, look at them wearing so much makeup. I want to be sick in my mouth. It's not on iPlayer. Where the fuck am I going to watch Snog Mary Avoid then? I woke up this morning thinking I was going to do another video and I thought, no, Snog Mary Avoid has come into my head. So I'm trying to find it and I can't find it. Shut your mouth, woman. God, I have tried to find a few articles and the article showed me what the make under looks like. So that's ruined it for me. So I've just found a random episode on YouTube and I'm going to click it and we're going to watch that one. It could be boring. It could be uneventful. We don't know. So I'm clicking and deal with it. Let's snog marry a void. So this episode is from season one, episode two. So this was fresh on the market, 2008. <laughs> Well, I have to mute this, don't I? They call me... That's not my name. Have you ever seen those girls who wear too much makeup, thick hair extensions and daft long nails and think how great they'd look without it all? Well, this is the show for you. Oh, man, what was her name? Gemma Frost or something? Jenny Frost. Let's go. This is Pod, your personal overhaul device. Pod, yeah. Pod is the mean robot that's just insufferable and tries their best to insult and it's just shit. My mission is to reveal a nation of stunning natural beauties who are currently hiding behind layers and layers of slap. Stunning natural beauties, yeah? They make them look like prime 2000s. It's horrible. Like sometimes they've got some proper quiff. Sometimes they just put a scarf on them, a shirt that's undone with like a tank top underneath and like bandanas. It's horrible. So I can't wait to see what these people look like. I don't even know what they look like beforehand. It's just something to do with goths, so. We love goths. Goth girlfriend? Big titty goth thing? That's still a meme, right? Let their inner beauty come from within and shine. Exactly. By taking off all of their makeup that you deem to be too much to then make them look average. Bringing out their inner beauty. That, ma that makes no sense, Jenny Frost. I mean, I'd kiss you on the lips, but I'd have a word first. <laughs> I remember it. I remember the intro. Kind of goes hard though. Still doesn't beat Don't Tell the Bride. Here are a selection of tonight's Make Under Subjects. I enjoy that half a second of some woman doing some mad dancer that then they just cut. I dress like this because I think it looks good. I get loads of attention off it and I love attention. Of course she's Scouse. Why wouldn't she be Scouse? We were already quite alternative when we met. Since we've been together. That's not safe. You saw the amount of piercings either of them had, you combine them, surely there's some locking right there. Surely they're gonna get stuck. I'm a space robot from a different planet. Okay, so it seems that there's gonna be three separate people that are maked under. I thought it was just one, so we're gonna have even more fun today. I'll be asking, do men want to snog, marry, or avoid tonight's girls? They avoid me, that means they find me intimidating and they're scared to speak to me. Cope. Huge cope. Such cope. Cope. First girl is Heather from Liverpool. Now, she aspires to be a certain celebrity. No pod points for getting home. Paris Hilton. I'm sure she was relevant in 2008, right? What are you wearing? These are just felt across my chest. Okay, Jodie Marsh. That's a name I'm sure 90% of you don't even know. And those that do know completely forgot Jodie Marsh existed. Who is your style icon? Yeah, <laughs> Jodie Marsh. As soon as you see the belts, Google Jodie Marsh. I can't show it. There's an image of her with belts over and her titties are hanging out. What does Jodie Marsh even do? Let's have a look at her Instagram. First, straight away tits and then chips and beans. Anyway, of course she wants to be Jodie Marsh showing off her fat tits because they are very, very... Oh, fucking hell. Accessing Jodie Marsh. 
Oh, it's showing us Jody Marsh. Thank you so much, Pod. I don't know if I can show it, though, because I do want my £1.50. Speaking of £1.50, link in the description. Help me out, man. £10 each. Cheers, man. Also, I don't make £1.50 a video now. I make like two, three quid. My How Clean Is Your House video, £5. £5? Soon, yeah, I won't even be asking for you lot to drop money to the PayPal because I'll be making so much in ad revenue. It'll be crazy. I'll go, you know what? Keep your £10. Don't need it. £5? £5 on my last video. Come on. Have you ever met Jodie Marsh? Yeah, I met her at a book signing, and that's clever, she wrote her own book. Can't believe I've just typed in Jodie Marsh books. And I have seen one review on goodreads.com saying, biggest pile of crap I've ever read in my life. <laughs> From 2008. Anyway, back to the fucking show. Heather, it is now time for your public analysis. Okay, so now they're going to ask 100 geezers off the street. Hey, would you shake her? I would avoid that she's very <laughs> orange in the face. Avoid her, avoid her, full stop. 90% of people said they would avoid you. They're the ones messing up then, aren't they? She's got nothing going on up there, so... I don't think we're missing out on much. Let the make under commence. It just sucks, doesn't it? 90% <laughs> of men said they would avoid you. Let's see what they think now. I think she looks a uh, really nice girl, very homely, friendly. She actually is the meme, literally wearing the same outfit. The trad GF. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I've just seen a perfect meme. I'm going to put it up on the screen here. The most accurate. Look at her. Come on. Let's snog her, yeah? Give her a good snog. It's a bit unsettling, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I'd give her a right tongue in, I would. What emotion are you registering? Um, I think people like me better when I look like this. Like, the other look was, like, scared people away. This is a weird show. It is a bit weird. She did look rough, but just getting away people's own, like, sense of identity and then just going, yeah, I look like this instead. Everyone likes you like this. What you looked like before? No, you should... Can't, can't say it, you should, you should, yourself, you know, fucking hell. This is how I have achieved your new look. When wearing a pretty floral dress, use chunky accessories to prevent it looking too girly. That doesn't, that doesn't make sense to me. So in the last 90 days, 26% of my audience have been female. So ladies, use chunky accessories to prevent it looking too girly. Whatever the fuck that means. Now you are a natural beauty, what would you say to others who wear too much slap? Unless you need it, don't wear it. But if you're ugly, just keep it on. Words of wisdom there from... Becky. I don't know her name. Thanks, Heather. Heather. My work here is done. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> and that was that. This is riveting TV. I used to love watching this show. She looks stunning under all that makeup. I'm not sure about Jodie Marsh, more like Christina Aguilera. I'm pretty sure at the time Christina Aguilera was also wearing makeup like that and wearing clothes that were all leather and red and you know what I mean? Surely that's the same era. Put a sock in it, Jenny Frost. Oh my, sorry. Sorry, I'm objectifying. Sorry, don't worry, it's all lads here. <laughs> hey, birds. <laughs> Next into the pod was our first couple, Emily and Carl. Fuck it hell. I wear, on most days, a lot of like studded wear and collars, especially big, spiked, chunky collars. I love my collars. The more on my neck, the better. I would have been in 2008 going, oh, what the fuck, so crazy, look at that. At this point in my life, I don't care. Oh, you've got loads of piercings. I couldn't give a fuck. You're doing exactly what you want to do. Well done. And then they're going to make them change the way that they look. I think people automatically assume that we're going to be nasty people. Yes. I must have at least one person watching that dresses like this. Do you still get harassed or stared at because you dress like that? I have no idea because I'm the most average man. Psych. Psych. Start shouting at you for no reason. Oh, we smell. I bet they do stink of cigarettes, though. Come on, roll-ups. <laughs> as soon as you're gone, they're going to start laughing or they're going to start talking. Oh, my God, did you see them? Those people that look at them and go, oh, my God, look at them, will probably have a heart attack walking down Camden. Camden is a place that's full of people that dress like this, if you don't know, because not all my audience are English. Sorry. I ostracised you for two seconds. What do people call you in the street? Freak. My favourite is funeral. <laughs> Funeral? That is a shit insult. What quality does the perfect man need to have, apart from the ability to open a tin with his face? Your bare funny pod. Ah. Gotta be able to make me laugh. Carl, make Emily laugh. Knickers. 
You will make your make under choices for each other. Okay, so here it seems that they're going to get a choice of what they want to wear for each other. Jude Law, David Beckham, Brad Pitt, Will Young. <laughs> yes, Will Young, man. Yes! Brad Pitt. Kira Knightley, Maggie Gyllenhaal, Selma Blair, Kirsten Dunst. Look at all of the outfit choices as well. Kirsten Dunst has just got a curtain and cut some holes in it. Kirsten Dunst. It is time for your deep cleanse. Fuck a deep cleanse, how long is it going to take to get all of those piercings out? Gotcha. Well done, Carl. I'm done. <sighs> Fucking hell, though. It looks like it hurts. I've got four piercings myself. I'll let you guess where they are. There's one. <laughs> I've just got my ears done and my nose. <laughs> I don't have my bell end done, all right? Shh. Let the make under commence. <laughs> What the fuck is he wearing? Are we in 1900s Birmingham here? What's going on? Peaky Blinders shit. Well, you look beautiful. Uh, you do, you've got kind of a Lily Allen thing going. What the fuck have they put him in? Oh, do I look like a golfer? Oh, no. <laughs> you look awful. I do. They thought that that was better than what they look like. They look so much cooler as the goths. Come on, man. Fucking boot cut jeans as well. Carl. Can you guess whose celebrity style Emily chose for you? Mad that Brad Pitt was wearing that in 2008. No, he fucking wasn't. Brad Pitt. <laughs> Brad Pitt. Yeah, Brad Pitt and fucking Snatch. If you were to go to a posh restaurant now, do you think they'd let you in? They'd definitely let us in because <laughs> we're much more... <laughs> conformative. Because for some reason, if I'm wearing spiked necklace around us, what is it, necklace? You know, it's not, it's like leather with spikes on it. If I'm wearing that, they're going to spit on me and kick me up the arse because I'm satanic. Fucking people are so dumb, innit? The make under process is complete. Natural beauty has been achieved. Natural beauty has been achieved. Make him look like that. The next girl into the pod was Mion. Now, I'm not going to tell you where she's from. See if you can work it out from her accent. OK, here we go. See if we can work it out from her accent. <laughs> That's a mental transition. <laughs> Please, can you describe your look to Pod? I think my look is very influenced by Japanese visual K bands. Big back combed hair, strange hairstyles, and really crazy makeup. Australian? I don't fucking know. Do you like cartoons? This much. I really love them. The backing music is madness. She's talking about Japanese or something. I wasn't really paying attention. And they've got, Mr. Can you tell me where my love is gone? I can't play anymore because I will get copyright striked. And I want my £1.50. My £3. My £5 now. £5? Give me £5 now. Link in the description. Come on. What are some nice words? Chow, chow, chanto, chow. It means that dog is a chow, isn't it? I feel like it doesn't. I feel like she made that up. When people meet you, where do they think you're from? They think I'm from Japan. <laughs> I'm originally from Cumbria. So why the Japanese accent? She... What? The... That's supposed to be a Japanese accent? What f what was going on in 2008? I have a lot of Japanese friends, so... She sounds... In she, she does not... Oh, this is fuck. They are my bra I can't even get words out of my lips. What do people say about your look? People are very narrow-minded. A lot of people think. It's like she's putting it on now. You still sound not Japanese. Okay, I'm gonna do Japanese accent, yeah? You ready for my Japanese accent? People are very narrow-minded. And a lot of people think. Japanese accent there. You're welcome, man. Fluent. The way you're born is the only way you can be. She literally just sounds Australian. I don't think they accept that you can change things for fun. It doesn't have to be for a reason. Then she sounded like she was from the Netherlands. Doesn't have to be for a reason. I've, I'm upset at this. <laughs> Pod computes that you are doing so much for Anglo-Japanese relations that you are practically doing a public service. Therefore, should not be made under. They just let her go. They said, you know what? You're tapped. Sayonara. Do you remember the lovely Emily and Carl from earlier on? Okay, so now they have a conversation saying, what do you think about when you look like Tommy Shelby? Do you think that was good? Do you think it? you felt comfortable? Dressed like that when you feel comfortable dressed with all your piercings and the way that you choose to dress? Or did you like the way that we dressed you? You like the way we dressed you? You didn't? Oh, you're a freak. That's what's going to happen. I knew you'd go back, guys. Of course. Why wouldn't you? The hat was the worst thing. I hated it. <laughs> Look at how many fucking piercings he's got, though. It's 
impressive. So many in the face. Do they not get infected, the ones here? Does your body not actively try to push them out all the time? Pretty much changed back as soon as we could. Eh? It ran to the yeah. toilet and put all the piercings back in. Yeah. Well, I had to because they would have closed up otherwise. I got my nipple pierced once. Cool. All right, Jenny. Fuck it out. And again, it's wrong with enhancing what you have. And um, I think... Oh, I really wish that they showed him drinking out of that pint. Because how? Oh I'm, oh, I'm so upset. I would love to see him try and drink out of that. So thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Oh, he cut again! Oh, they edged me with that. And next into the pod was Stacey. A funky clubber with funky clubber. Absolute tune, mate. Tune. If some beds, two a month, probably more if I'm being honest. You can tell because she looks like she's about 38 and she's probably 21. <laughs> Her name is Stay hyphen C. Fuck off. 24 as well. Lay off the sunbeds, man. Run phase one. Public analysis. How old do most people think you look? <laughs> After I specifically made a joke about her looking a lot older than she is. Over half of people thought you were 28. Imagine being 28. Oh. Oh, fucking hell. Those people thought you looked 28. Oh. Oh. Time just won't stop. Time won't stop. Oh, you know. And 10% thought you were 32. Yeah, that's not good, is it? 32. <laughs> oh, <fuck. sighs> it doesn't matter because I'm only 20. I've got ages until I'm 32. Uh, I asked men only, would they rather snog, marry, or avoid you? Avoid like the plague. Did you see the state of him? Avoid like the plague. Brother, look at your trim. Look at my trim. Please put on your make under uniform. I demand every last strand of fakery is removed. Yes, yes, okay. You're like a makeup Nazi. All right. <laughs> Run, phase three, the make under. <laughs> It's definitely better. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Previously, 75% of men said they would avoid you. Now every man that we ask goes when they see you. I have tested the public's reaction to your new look. I'll probably ask out on a date. I'd put, yeah, I'd probably some guy. No, you wouldn't, mate. No, you fucking wouldn't. <laughs> I'm gonna meet Stacey now and see if she's kept a look. Wow! <laughs> you look gorgeous! It actually worked and she went and changed her life. See, I like that one because it actually wasn't too outlandish on either way. And she went, you know what? It's time for me to grow up a bit. I like it. But the show as a whole concept, eh. yeah. Something's different. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, you two. <laughs> yeah, the twins. The twins are in town. And then it zoomed in on her tits. As I paused, I'm now looking at her tits. Tell me about yeah. the twins. Okay. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> I only had them two weeks ago. Right, she had a, a boob job, I see, as to why they were focusing on that. I cut out loads of it because she was just waffling and I zoned out. And then she started talking to her breasts. And I was like, I'm awake again. What's going on? Pudder. And there we go. That was pretty shit, wasn't it? I don't know how I felt about that episode or this as a whole. Snog, marry, avoid. Crazy insight that I've got today. Yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts. If you got this far in the video, leave a comment saying, I'd snog Kane, so you can give me a boost in confidence. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I've had a good time on YouTube, and I'm still having a good time on YouTube. Here is a video for you to go and watch. Enjoy. Maybe, perhaps. Share me with your friends so I can get 10,000 subscribers by tomorrow.